and today we're going to eat Who's Been Eating My Porridge by M. Christina Bertler and illustrated by Dan Lee, Dan, Daniel Howard. Who's been eating my porridge? Little Bear would not eat his porridge. All little bears eat porridge, said Mommy Bear. It makes them big and strong. But Little Bear shook his head. No porridge, he said. No porridge. Then I will give it to old scary bear who lives in the woods, said Mommy Bear. And Little Bear watched as Mommy Bear took the porridge outside and left it on an old tree stump. That day, while Mommy and Daddy Bear gathered honey from the bees, Little Bear climbed trees and watched out for Old Scary Bear on the way home. Dear Bear, Daddy Bear said, Did you see Scary Bear? No, replied Little Bear with his nose in the air, because there is no Scary Bear. Well, somebody has eaten your porridge, said Mommy Bear when they got back to the bear den. The next morning, Daddy Bear put some honey on Little Bear's porridge, but Little Bear still would not eat it. I don't like the porridge. It's horrible, he cried. So Daddy Bear took it outside and left it out, left it on the tree stump for old scary bear. This is Daddy Bear putting the porridge outside and this is baby bear sitting over here looking. That day Graham Granny and Grandpa Bear came to stay, and they all went out to pick berries. I hear you don't eat your porridge, little bear, said Grandpa Bear. It's no wonder there's Scary Bear about. Scary Bears love porridge. <clears throat> when they arrived back at the bear den, little bear ran over to tree stump and found that his porridge bowl was empty again. <clears throat> I wonder who's been eating this porridge. This is my first time reading it, so I don't really know. The next morning, Granny Bear put some honey and berries on Little Bear's porridge, but Little Bear held his nose and closed his eyes. No porridge, he cried, I hate porridge! And so Grandpa Bear took the porridge outside for old scary bear. I wonder if this scary bear even exists. That day, Little Bear's aunt and uncle and his two big cousins came for a visit while the big bears gathered nuts in the woods. The young bears played scare played scary bear games among the trees. On the way home, Little Bear was very quiet and he wouldn't speak to anyone. I bet he's tired, said Daddy Bear. At supper time, Little Bear wasn't feeling hungry. Daddy Bear took him upstairs and tucked him into bed. Oh, look, this is Little Bear, and this is Big Daddy Bear, and this is Little Bear's bed. That night, Little Bear had a bad dream. 
old scary bear was chasing him through the woods. I want your porridge, he growled. It makes me big and strong. The bear ran with his porridge over the fields where the berries grow, through the wo wo woods where the hazelnuts grow, and past the hives where the bees make honey, until he came to the old tree stump. You're not having my or porridge, he shouted to old scary bear, and he sat down and ate all, all his porridge every bit, and then he woke up. The next morning at breakfast, Little Bear ate a bowl of porridge with honey, and then he had a second helping with nuts and berries. All day, Little Bear was very busy. He helped Granny Bear and Mommy Bear make berries into jam and put honey into jars. Then he went to help Grandpa Bear and Daddy Bear. But as they were storing the nuts, Daddy Bear said suddenly, What is that noise? All the bears listened carefully, and they looked outside. You know what's going to be? Pause the video and find out. There, in front of the bear's den, were lots of little animals. All were, there, in front of uh, the bear's den, where little an where lots of little animals were shouting, "Where's our porridge? Where's our porridge?" So that's who old scary bear is. Look, cried little bear with a giggle, and from that day onward. Every morning when Little Bear has eaten his bowl of porridge, he takes another one outside for Old Gary Bear, and he always eats it. The end. Look at all these leaves, colorful leaves. This story must have taken place in a forest when it was fall. Okay, so... Thank you for reading this, my story. Bye!